a riff from Eddie Van Halen, The Master, Women in Love. There are so many good things tucked away in just these like 10 seconds of riff. I was like, we've got to break it down. We've got to learn it. So we're tackling that today. You're going to learn all kinds of really cool concepts. Before we get into the lesson, if you guys would subscribe, you can check out the Les Paul Jr. giveaway that we're doing. Also, new free guitar course. It's all linked down below in the description. And let's get to the lesson. One more thing real quick is that I am tuned to standard tuning. Now Eddie is tuned to half step down. So if you want to play along with the record, just tune down half step. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the way that Eddie is playing these notes, the way he's adding so much of this dynamic feel to them. Because I saw some people play them and there's a couple things I think people are missing. If you watch Eddie play this live, you can see these little details that he's adding in here. So for starters, the first thing is this. We're going to play 5th fret on the A string, followed by 4th fret on the G. It's one of my favorite things ever. It's a 6th. Going from that D note up to that B. There's your sixth. Now, it really sounds like Eddie slides into that at the beginning. He definitely slides out of it. That's one of the things I see a lot of people miss is that Eddie doesn't go like this. He goes. You hear the note actually slide down. So these are just, to me, the little details of things when you're learning these riffs from all these legends, you know, learning a, a page riff the right way, learning a EVH riff the right way. Now, another really crucial part of this is the way that Eddie is picking these. So when he goes through this, he's not hybrid picking it. So he only gets those two notes. He's not doing that. He is raking through the strings and he's muting with his left and right hand. Now, the next ones, he adds his open low E string, but for now, to get that sound, listen how different that sounds than, like the one is just this very like clean and safe sound and then the other one is this real kind of like percussive and raunchy sound. So you really have to get to where you can pick through the strings and you accomplish that by muting with your right hand and your left hand. I'm letting my fingers lay across the strings. That way, that D string note, I'm not actually hearing it. I'm only hearing the fretted notes. Okay, so that's the first thing. If you want to get that percussive sound that Eddie has, it's not hybrid picked. He's raking through the strings. Now the next thing he puts in here, and he rakes almost all of them, is this little line. Now this is something that he does not rake. He plays it very direct. He's playing first fret on the G, then you go to hammer on this two, and you slide up to four. So you've got... And it works out nice because your hand is sliding off of that first sixth interval. And you're sliding down and you just grab that one, hammer on, and slide. Moving to another sixth. Now this time, notice I added the low E string. It gives it this kind of like ugly sound. But it, it, I mean, Eddie just makes it sound cool because that's what he does. He's a boss. So you play the top part of that chord again. And then you play fourth on the G and second on the G. He's just adding a little bit of a melody on top of those chords. So you have. Now, all you do is you walk that ring finger note down. You're going to move it to your middle finger and play third fret on the A and then second fret on the G. Now, notice I'm still raking through the strings. On all these big chord hits, he's raking through the strings every single time. Now, another little melody there. He goes two, four, two, then E chord. A little cool trill section. And how you do that is you go up to seventh fret on the A. There's a little bit of a pause. And then he goes. He's just hammering on from five to seven. He slides down. Now he only picks that first note. Everything else is legato. So he goes five and seven, then he goes four and five, and he ends it by sliding down to that B note, second fret on the A. Definitely listen to the song, get the rhythm right on that one. And he just repeats it. Um, I thought at one point in the song, it sounds like he does an up pick instead of a down, but live he picks everything down. So I don't know. I'm not going to argue with Eddie. Just the one part, it sounds like he goes. Hmm. 
that right there on that one, it sounded like he was picking up, but I, I watched three live videos and he plays it down every single time. So maybe he's not, he has a very bitey tone, so maybe that's it. So let's recap, what was all tucked away in here? Obviously the percussive style of raking through the strings, left and right hand, it takes a lot of just control over your hands to do that. You had these really cool six intervals in here, melody on top of a chord. Eddie just being awesome. It's got it all. So I'm gonna bounce on out of here, guys. If you would, hit the subscribe button. Check out all those links, like I said before, down below. And uh, we're gonna end it bluesy, Eddie Van Halen style, because that's the way we do it here. Oh